Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Praise the Lord! Is the time to read Bible. Let's continue on Matthew chapter thirteen. Today we will start from verse thirty-one. Jesus spoke seven parables in Matthew thirteen to describe the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus only explained the first one. The parable of the sower, and the second one, the parable of the weeds. So we could understand the developing of the kingdom of heaven is like the sower went out to sow his seed. If the seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown, then. The second parable let us know where God's work is, where Satan's attack is. Why God sold the Son of the Kingdom of Heaven a seat in the world. Satan always sowed wheat among the wheat. Therefore, the developing the developing of the Kingdom of Heaven goes with Satan's destruct dis. Disruption. Jesus did not explain the next five parables. Two of them, there that are, the parables of the master seed and the east. Jesus spoke to the public. But the other three parables, Jesus only spoke to his disciples. There are the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. A merch. A merchant looking for fine pearls, and a net that was let down into the lake. Why I'm emphasizing on Jesus spoke parables to the public or to his disciples, because Jesus' purpose to the public is only the outward of the kingdom of heaven. However, the developing of the kingdom might be disturbed. By by Satan, the on the other hand, Jesus emphasized to his disciples that the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven correspond to the value of God's will. Let's read verse thirty one. He told them another parable: the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. This parable is following by the parable of the weeds, that the kingdom of heaven is like the son of man who sowed the seed of the kingdom, a good seed in the world, and now we see the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. The man is also the son of man, Jesus Christ, but this time he used a master seat to explain the developing of the kingdom of heaven. The master seat had been planted in the world. Master is commonly planted in the land of Canaan. It could be used as so oil, medicine, or seasoning. When it is planted in the in this world, it could provide oil, which is the Holy Spirit to the world. It could be healing, he, healing, and as a season. So the Son of Man had this is protect is is protections when he planted the mustard seed in the world. Verse thirty two. Though it is the smallest of all your seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants, and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. The mustard seed in is the smallest of all seeds. That means a real follower is petty, and low. He. 
imitates Jesus Christ as he is gentle and humble, and even he is despised by this world, so he could barely affect this world, just like Jesus' ministry on the earth. He had no beauty, no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, and like a root out of dry ground, he preached the gospel, but was despised and rejected. Jesus also told us, "A student is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master." So how Jesus had been treated, so do we. The master seat, the master seat is the smallest of all seats, but now it is the largest of garden, of garden plants, and becomes a tree. In Genesis chapter one, talks about God's creation. The sentence, according to their kind, had been used many times. God's creation is in order, and not be mixed. Genesis one verse eleven and twelve. Then God said, "Let the land produce vegetation, seed bear, be, bearing plants and the trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it according to their kinds." The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and the trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. This one is the third day creation of God's, of God. Plants or trees according to their kinds never be mixed. However, the master seed. Grows becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. What does the birds indicate? Jesus had mentioned in the first parable, as the sower was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Jesus explained the parable in verse nineteen. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches, and snatches away what was sown in his heart. So the birds indicate the evil one. In fact, Jesus was trying to tell us even the smallest. Master seed can be grown as a tree, so that the evil one come and perch in its branches. Relative to, relative to the second parable, that the the evil came and sowed seed among the wheat. Jesus warned us, the outwardly. Developing of the kingdom, if the followers are not the poor in spirit, are not the pure in heart, or besides God, they still desire for other things, for example, desire for power or being respect. Christ will not exist. Unconsciously. The angels of Satan will come and perch in the branches. Dear brothers and sisters, Christ brings the kingdom of heaven to the earth, and obtain his people. They should follow his leading and honestly preach his word. However, most of time, in order to attract more people, his word has been modified. And the lost the truth, unconscious, unconsciously, the smallest master seed grows and becomes a tree. There are two reasons in church history that the master seed became into a tree. 
First is, first is the outside interference, like money or politics. Church is a holy place. If the if the world has been brought in to the church, the church will grow unhealthy, unhealth, unhealthily. For instance, pol. For instance, politics. Constantine the Great met Christianity. Christianity, the official religion of the Rome Empire, in order to flatter him, many people came to church, that became into a tree and had issues. The second one is the spiritual ministry had been set up as an organization. God has been building up many of His famous servants. And they might be gone one day, but sometimes, unfortunately, we can see the organization. The organization is still working after God's famous servant is gone. A spirit, a a spiritual ministry is bringing people to God, and finally, the people will be leading by the Holy Spirit, build up the church in God's will. Also, giving the church to God and the Holy Spirit one day. Paul is the best example. He did not build up his own church, his own his own organization. He only served faithfully in God's church. Paul did not become a tree. Verse thirty three. He told them, still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast. That a woman took and mixed into a large amount of flour until it worked all through the dough. In the Bible, it indicates the negative. For example, in Matthew sixteen verse eleven and twelve, Jesus said to his disciples, "How is it you don't understand that I was not talking to you about bread, but be on your." Guard against, guard against, the east of Pharisees and the Sadducees. Then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against the east, used in bread, but against the teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So east is meaning the teaching. Paul also mentioned in First Corinthians five. Verse six to eight. Don't you know that a little yeast works through the whole batch of dough? Get rid of the old yeast, that you may be a new batch without yeast, as you really are. Therefore, let us keep the fast, the festival not with the old yeast. The east of malice and the weak, weakness, weakness, but with bread without east, the bread of sincerely, sincerity and the truth. In the Old Testament, all the grain offerings are without east. Only in Pentecost, the new grain soft offering. The new grain offering is with yeast and baked into two breads, because the grain offering foreshadows Jesus Christ, so it is without yeast. However, the two loaves of bread, the two loaves of bread in Pentecost foreshadows Jews and the Gentiles, so they are with yeast. Because we are all have sins, after Passover there are seven days of the Lord's feast of unleavened bread. That means staying away from sins. Jesus used the, Jesus used the negative east to tell us the negative developing of the kingdom of heaven. A woman. Took and mixed into a large amount, a large amount 
a large amount of flour until it worked all through the dough. Who is the woman? The interpretation is in Re- Revelation. Is in Revelation, one of the seven churches, the church, the church in Thyatira. Revelation two verse twenty. Never, nevertheless, I have this against you, you tolerant that woman, that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess. By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immor- immorality, and the eating of food sacri- sacrificed to idols. In the Old Testament, Jezebel was king of Israel, Ahab's wife. She worshipped idols and also brought it into Israel. In addition, her teaching had misled God's servants, like a woman took and mixed into three setas of flour, which is the fine flour mixed with oil without yeast, as the grain offering. Genesis eighteen, God took man's image to visit Abraham. Abraham asked Sarah to get three. Three seeds of fine flour and knead it and bake some bread. It means the amount of preparing a banquet. Church is well since are able to receive spiritual food. However, there is a sneaky woman takes takes the yeast and mix into three setas of flour, bread without yeast. Could be sturdy, even though it's hard to chew. It brings real growing for people. Jesus Christ's ministry on the earth was without yeast. He preached the cos the the gospel in all places, but his real followers are not many. Even though the five loaves of bread and the two fish had fed five thousand people. Many came to follow Jesus, but if Jesus understood those who had been fed by the bread was not the real followers, because they just wanted to be fed, and it was not the kingdom that God desires. Verse thirty four. Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd. To the crowd in parables, he did not say anything to them without using a parable. Therefore, following Jesus, the revelation is needed, and they also overcome the outward to be a real follower. Verse thirty-five. So was fulfilled what was spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will alter things hidden since the creation of the world. In fact, speaking in parables is positive. The purpose is to reveal the hidden things, but only those who are willing to follow Jesus Christ could receive could receive. The revelation and understand the parables. Otherwise, what you see is only outward, which comes from unhealthy developing of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus stopped his parables to the public. In here, he then left the he then left the crowd and went into the house. He first answered his disciples' question about the parable of the wheat. In the field, we have talked about these scriptures yesterday. So let's read verse forty-four. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid he hid it again, and then, and then in his joy went, and sold all he had, and bought that field. Jesus' parables to the crowd 
the parable of the wheat, the parables of the mustard seed, and the yeast are emphasized on Satan's destroy God's work, so that the outward of the kingdom is not growing healthily. When Jesus spoke to his disciples, he was positively to say, "The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which is in the world." Jesus had seen the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in the world. Therefore, our vision need to be focused on the hidden things that been hidden in the world. When a man found it, he hid it again. Who is the man? He is Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. In addition, treasure means those who are real Jesus followers. They give up this world, so they are hidden in this world. They only follow Jesus Christ, even though the world cannot see them. Christ is able to find them, and hid and hid them again, hide them again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. When did Jesus sold all his he? When did Jesus sold all he had? When he was on the cross, he sacrificed himself. Then he resurrected. And bought the field in his joy. So where the treasure is hidden, where Jesus will sell all he has and buy it, dear brothers and sisters, Christ is willing us to be hidden in this world. He sees your treasure and hid it again, so that the world, the world, did not will not damage you. He will buy you at any price, not only buy you but also your surrounding field. Actually, God do not want the outward of the kingdom of heaven. On the other hand, the treasure is the hidden. The treasure is is the hidden. Pray God give us the same revelation and the vision to know what is priceless. Let's pray. Oh Lord, thank you for revealing. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven to us. Thank you for seeing us as the treasure, and willing to buy us at any price. Please help us walking, walking on this journey, following following you with gentle and humble. Please bless our church as the treasure, and willing to walk on the journey that you designated. We pray in Jesus' name, Amen.